Welcome friends, I am again here with a new topic, proteins. Today we are going to discuss the definition and classification of proteins. And one important thing is that uh, handwritten notes are available for this topic. You will have to comment on this video. Karna padega. Then I will provide the link for handwritten notes. Please like, share and subscribe this video. So friends, we are first of all, what are proteins? The definition of protein. Proteins are the complex biomolecules containing carbon, hydrogen and oxygen and sulfur in their structure. Sometimes it also contains phosphorus. Or proteins are the polymers of amino acids joined together by peptide bonds. In earlier videos, in earlier amino acids videos, we discussed about the formation of peptide bond. It can be distinguished from fats and carbohydrates as it contains nitrogen, sulfur and sometimes phosphorus. Carbon, hydrogen and oxygen in carbohydrates are present in 1 is to 2 is to 1 ratio. But in proteins, carbon, hydrogen and oxygen do not present in 1 is to 2 is to 1 ratio. The ratio of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen in proteins is different from carbohydrates. Amino acids are monomer or building block of proteins. So the monomers of proteins, the single unit of proteins are amino acids. These amino acids are joined together by peptide bond to form a polypeptide chain and a very long polypeptide chain is to be considered as a protein. So all enzymes, this one of the most important line, all enzymes are proteins but not all proteins are enzymes. That is uh, this line is too complicated but uh, we have to learn, we have to remember this line. All enzymes are proteins but not all proteins are enzymes. Now we will discuss the classification of proteins. Now we will discuss the classification of proteins. So friends, proteins are classified on the basis of structure and on the basis of composition. On the basis of structure, we have three types of proteins that is fibrous protein, globular protein and intermediate proteins. Again, on the basis of composition, we have two types of proteins that are simple proteins and conjugated proteins. Simple proteins that are albumins, globulins, histone proteins and scleroproteins. And the conjugated proteins are phosphoproteins, glycoproteins, nucleoproteins, chromoproteins and lipoproteins and flavoproteins. Now we will discuss each and every type of protein with its properties and definition. Based on structures, we have three types of proteins, fibrous proteins, globular proteins and intermediate proteins. So fibrous proteins, they are long, parallel and polypeptide chains forming fibers. Insoluble in water, the fibrous proteins are totally insoluble in water. They form structural components of cell, example collagen, elastin, keratin and etc. Examples of fibrous proteins are collagen, elastin and keratin. Now globular proteins. They are tightly folded polypeptide chains forms spherical structures. They are totally soluble in water. They can easily soluble in water. Physiologically significant functions. Glo globular proteins have significant uh, functions. They have physiologically significant functions. For example, serum globulin and insulin. As we already know, insulin is very uh, important uh, component of our body. Intermediate proteins. Intermediate proteins, they are fiber shaped polypeptide chains, soluble in water. They are also soluble in water as globular proteins are also soluble in water. The examples of intermediate proteins are fibrinogen. Now the second type of proteins that are simple proteins and conjugated proteins. Classification of proteins on the basis of composition. So on the basis of composition, we have two types of proteins that is simple proteins and conjugated proteins. But here we will discuss the simple proteins. There are several types of simple proteins present uh, in our body that are albumins, globulins, histone proteins and scleroproteins. So simple proteins are those proteins they contain only amino acids. They do not contain any other compounds or any other molecules in their structures. Albumins. They are neutral in nature. As we know, there are 20 amino acids are required to form proteins in our body. So the, they, those amino acids, they may be neutral, acidic and basic in nature. So on the basis of the composition of proteins, on the basis of these amino acids, these proteins may be acidic, basic and neutral in nature. So albumin they are neutral in nature. They are soluble in water and the example is egg albumin. Globulin, they are neutral in nature, insoluble in water and the example is serum globulin. The next one is histone proteins. These are the most important proteins 
are to be considered they are basic in nature they are soluble in water example is chromatin chromatin is a type of histone protein they are required in binding up of dna or dna organization uh, in eukaryotic cells or in mammals or in uh, animals higher organisms the histone proteins are required to, to use to binding up of DNA or genetic material. Scleral proteins. They are neutral in nature, insoluble in water and examples are keratin and collagen. Now we'll discuss the second type of proteins that are conjugated proteins. Conjugated proteins. Conjugated proteins are those proteins that contains a non-proteinaceous part that is known as prosthetic group and amino acids together. A amino acid and a prosthetic groups are present together to form a conjugated protein while in simple proteins they are only made up of amino acids but conjugated proteins contains prosthetic group and amino acids so there are several types of conjugated proteins that are phosphoproteins glycoproteins mucoproteins lipoproteins and nucleoproteins and some other proteins phosphoproteins they are those proteins that contains phosphorus in their structure and highly specific in their function glycoproteins they are composed of amino sugars sugar acids they are uh, the cell wall and plasma membrane contains some amount of glycoproteins the glycoproteins are all uh, they are known to be the structural components of our cell membrane cell wall and plasma membrane Mucoproteins they contain sugar derivatives. The sugar derivatives are present in the structure of mucoproteins as they act as lubricants. They act as lubricants of respiratory tracts and alimentary tracts. Lipoproteins they are the compounds of proteins with lipids. Lipids are present with amino acids in lipoproteins. They are found in brain and plasma. Nuclear proteins, they are complex of proteins and nucleic acids. Later, we will discuss the other topic there, that is structure of proteins. So friends, please like, share and subscribe for more videos. And for handwritten notes, you have to comment on this video. Then I will provide the link of handwritten notes. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe.